The portable smelting furnace just broke Astroneer. This item is so small yet so overpowered that makes the smelting furnace obsolete. Even if you have just started a new game, you can use it. But quick game, that's a late gate item. You can't even print it. How am I supposed to get that in early game? You can get the portable furnace even in early game. The fight between smelting furnace and portable smelting furnace has ended. We have a winner as there's room for only one of these in the galaxy. Subscribe. But how can a portable furnace be any better? It consumes more power for the same intake. There is only one way to find out. Let's compare them. The regular smelting furnace has four slots, but they don't work independently. It only smells... Well, I guess in real life a smelter must produce some kind of odor, isn't it? It only smells one resource at a time. And here is the first great thing about the portable furnace. They are independent, so you can smelt four or more items at the same time. No loading required. On paper, they should require the same time to smelt one resource, which is 15 seconds. But I don't trust the game, so I want to find out scientifically if that's true. I have made this small contraption to check which one is faster or if they are really the same. Also, can we appreciate the fact that I'm using these platforms? I think this is the first time I'm using them ever. I'm going to power them at the same time through this switch. There we go. And whomever smelts the first item faster and drops it in one of the storage trays will trigger a storage sensor that will turn this light on. So if the light turns on at the same time, we will be able to confirm that their speed is the same. Otherwise, we will know which one is faster. Am I the only one who always spends a lot of time to align all the items on the same platform? Am I weird? Please tell me you do the same. But I'm pretty sure they have the same speed. Oh, what? Did you see that? The portable furnace dropped the item a millisecond earlier. Or maybe not. Actually, forget about that guys. I have just realized I have set the sensors to full empty, but I should actually set them to empty, not empty. That's what the kids call epic fail. Uh, let me try again. Okay. Oh, they have exactly the same speed. This is kind of disappointing. And after this epic fail, I can confirm that they have the same speed. Sorry developers, I won't doubt anymore. Let's go on with the comparison. Next is our comparison in space. Not that one. I mean, how much space they take up. They technically take up the same space because to smelt four items, you would need four slots on both. But if you use the storage system, you could definitely make better use of your space with the portable smelter as you can stack dozen of them on a four x four platform. Oh man, I love creative mode. Or you could expand to the sides and create a tree if you wish. Why not? Oh my smelting furnace, this is huge! Of course, the portable smelter requires much more power in comparison, as the regular one requires 5 power to operate at full speed, while a portable one only requires 2 units of power per second per resource. So to fully power up this tree, you would need a whole ton of power. This would definitely be late game stuff, but you don't need that many in early game, or possibly never ever, and let's not forget that it's portable, so you can stick it in your backpack and smelt items on the run. Careful with TNT. But you might rightly say that the standard furnace requires 5 units of power per second to smelt one resource, since it only smelts one ore at a time. And, another one. and if you put it that way, well then, the portable smelter gets more points. And the last aspect to consider is the cost. The smelting furnace only costs 2 resin, and one compound. That's super cheap. I mean, you get those even when you don't want them. So while the smaller furnace is portable and faster, it consumes more and is harder to get. You think. So how can that be better than the fixed furnace, especially in early game? Truth time! The secret trick is that you can get them for free or for cheap. Huh? Seriously, for example, you can get it for cheap at a trade platform in exchange for 8 pieces of Astronium. But this is kind of mid-game stuff because you will need the trade platform and Astronium, which is at the core and requires all sorts of drills and stuff to get it. So then, why don't you get it for free? But how do you do so? Did you know that you can find it scattered around? Yeah, seriously, just have a walk in the caves and you will find a few. You can see some on all planets, including on Silva and the Solo, especially in the caves. 
so just tether up or make some resin oxygen tanks to explore the caves and that's how you can get a number of portable smelting furnace in early game. I've always wanted to decorate my base with some nice flower pot. Of course, when you have the chance, try to get some more through the trading platform and I believe you may get some through missions and sometimes in time events through the exo request platform. I'm not really sure about this one. This will grant you an incredible boost to your starter base. Ready to try this contraption, let's go! Oh yeah, baby! I'm so lazy I didn't even switch them all on. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks and automation in Astroneer and please like the video, it really helps me to make more Astroneer videos. Stay safe.